Like it's that. a lot of things I don't understand, but I understand how to play my part. I'm a soldier, dirt and dig it hard. I just be hustling hard. What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? Back with another video. Let's go. All right, so we back with another toxic confession. Yeah, I heard it. Toxic confession. Anyway, no intro. Let's get straight to it. We gonna hop straight into it. What is the most toxic thing you did after your ex blocked you? Golly. Um, I think I. All right, so it all started with one of my exes, my favorite ex. Um, favorite ex. I called him up. First red flag. <laughs> and I had this man drive me to my ex's job, and I sucked him off and spit this man's sperm into this man's mouth. Because only because he cheated on me and he thought that he yo, was gonna get yo, off. Yo, 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 oh my god, bro, I'm not even not even 20 seconds in the video. What is this? On cheating on me, no, bitch, you was not getting past me, papa. <laughs> Wasn't happening. Wait, wait, so, wait. So, yeah, he, <laughs> wait, he wait, called wait, baby mouth for a reason. Oh, oh, wait, hold up, hold up, <laughs> hold up. We gotta rewind. That's a lot to unpack. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. I got people sleep in this house and I'm trying not to scream. Damn. That is crazy, y'all. What the? Bro, what, what would you do if someone did that to you? If, if a girl... I got... I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm not finna incriminate myself. I can't believe she alive telling that damn story. I'm not gonna lie. Like, like I'm a good person and all, but for y'all females, y'all y'all be messing with the with the right dude. Like some of y'all niggas too. Like all y'all need to do is meet the right the right person. If y'all haven't tapped into part three, y'all should do that. That girl went off and that boy bleeding. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll drop the link in my bio. Look, get back crazy. Was I found all his family on social media down to his aunties, grandmas, great grandmas. I oh sent boy. him all the videos of when he was eating rooted to the tutor, his dick pics. And then I sent him all the screenshots of his family Facebook pages. And I said, You got 10 minutes to send me a thousand dollars, or I'm sending your family all of this shit. Damn. And I got my money. Still to this day, he still tries to talk to me. He still sends me money. Put that on the table. Ain't no cap. Like, yeah. Hey, this is how you run up a bag. Okay, I'm gonna go back to work now. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. go. Oh, and nah. I'm. Hey, on blackmail to the finest. I seen that he was texting some bitches in his phone. So I waited until he got to the bathroom. This man was taking a literal shit. He had the door unlocked. So I just came in. Boom. I just like started. <laughs> Bro, who the hell takes a dump with the bathroom a lot? Like, taking a dump, taking a shower, I feel like I'm at my most vulnerable. So, I'm locking that door. I don't give a damn. Three locks, four locks, five locks. I'm locking the whole damn door. As a matter of fact, I'm locking the whole house. Ain't nobody coming in. You got me bent. I want to see you punch for real. Punch. Like, we want to see how you do. Oh my God. <laughs> how many times did you connect? Like, did you hit his face first? I hit, like, I hit him for like a good, like, few times. I'm like fighting him. His pants is down. Dick is swinging. Brother and his best friend come in. So they're just like <laughs> seeing his dick. They was trying to like get me off of him. They was like, hey, chill out, chill out. Let the nigga pull up his pants. <laughs> it, was, it was bad. But he didn't do that shit no more. Like to call the cops on me, like, Look, so. is this true? If it's true, you gotta put it on the queen. On the queen. On the queen. It's true. That's why I'm queen savory. On the queens. At least stamp that. The queen herself stamped that, everybody. On the queens. Savory. <laughs> Boy, if she would have would have done that to me, I, I would have pushed out a mean duck, ball it in my hand, and just, y'all know the rest. She, she would have thought I was Harambe, boy. You better hoop. I wasn't having that real, boy. So I was with this guy for a year. Come to find out, he had a girlfriend of four years. So I found Damn. this out because his best friend ends up reaching out to me. And he goes, hey, I just wanted to let you know he's fucking with this other girl that comes to see him when you're not here i pull up to his job all right i don't condone cheating at the same time if your friend let alone your best friend in defending you even if you're wrong that's even more jacked up in my opinion uh, as soon as the co-workers see me all of their faces just drop and i was like why are you guys being weird where the fuck is he i go to the back and he's back there in this bitch's car he he's reversed in so we're all making eye contact and i'm like damn going crazy and the girl just like genuinely looks confused like she doesn't know who i am and he drives off. So I'm like chasing him down. I end up calling his number 
265 times in a row Damn. to let the girl know who I was. Well, she ends up reaching out to me the next day. She meet up and now she wants to be like, okay, I'm done with him. Let's both confront him. So now all of us are just right there. And he's straight up looking at her dead in the eye and it's like, are you really believing her? I want you. Da, 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 da. And I was like, did you know he had his own place? And she was like, he does. I thought he lived with his mom. And I was like, no, girl, he has his own spot. And he has a car because she didn't think he had a car. I told her everything. He started Damn. yelling in my face. And I was like, this is what you get. So moral of the story is I got his car taken away from him. His bitch of four years left him. I left him. He had to change locations from his job. Oh, and he lost his apartment. Because I had called his landlord because they were like close or whatever. And I let them know. I was like, yeah, he's a piece of shit. And she was like, I got you, Angelica. Like, I'm so sorry that happened to you. And she kicked him out. Yeah, whenever your man cheat on you, don't call his mama. Call his landlord. Call, call his landlord. Wow. Call his landlord today. Yep. <laughs> so, we're in Florida. Like, y'all think that's a case? Because soon that she, she told him the landlord that he was cheating whenever you sign that contract i bet you there's some type of closet in that contract men are so dumb men are so dumb i agree bring me my car where the fuck is my car um bring me my fucking car i told him like oh you want to you wanted to play games with me so now we're gonna play games now we playing marco polo find your fucking car marco and i hold oh, on no. We're going to start with throwing off a gun on the 19th floor in New York City, taking the charge, reckless endangerment, and disturbing the peace, because I don't got a record, baby. I showed his best friend my boobs. But, like, not, not even intentionally. His best friend was the one trying to fuck me. Wait, so how was it unintentionally? The hell? <laughs> I don't know how you explain that part. What's your Instagram back? Pay for it. I need five beans. What's up? Five, five beans. Five beans. Five. I, need Bruh, I don't give a damn if I got a hundred K followers. You can have that. I'll, I'll get it back. But I need a beer for every year that you play with me. I need five beans. You they be like, their first thing it says, I don't want to rush nothing. Bitch, I don't want to rush nothing with you either. I don't know if you're capable of being good around your family. I don't know how you act when you broke. I don't know how you act when things get hard. I don't want to be with you either, but can you reciprocate? Can you respect me? Can you respect yourself? Do you love yourself? These niggas don't love themselves, so why you can expect a man to love you when he don't even love himself? At some point yeah. in time, you become an age where you can't make excuses about your parents. Oh, my mama ain't do this. My mother didn't affect, uh, show me affection. My mother had niggas out. You can't. You grown. You pushing 30, babes. You pushing 30. Bro, you will not catch a young woman speaking like this. Like that's how I know she's 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 like older. Like a lot of people say women mature faster than men. That's a myth. I would say about seventy five percent of like women twenty five or, or less are are not mature. A majority. I'm not saying all. They're still at that twenty five percent now. That's just my opinion. I had this ex for like four years. He was a very abusive ex. I had like all the surgeries, bruised ribs, black eyes. Like it was very bad domestic violence. The cops Damn. at this point already knew my name. So one time I finally moved out. I looked at my grandmama, but I still loved him and I was still finna be with him. What? I didn't care about none of that extra shit. That was my man, my man, my man, okay? But I was looking for him one time. He wasn't answering his phone. So I texted his friends like, yo, you seen him? They like, yo, he left like two hours ago. Mind you, when he finally texted me back, he said he was upstairs with them. You left two hours ago. But all right, so at this point, it's 11 o'clock at night. My grandma and my grandpa was asleep. I'm about to go figure out where my band at. So I'll get on my clothes. Now I'm walking. As females, you get that weird butterfly stomach feeling when you know something wrong. My stomach was turning. Like my heart was at my ass. I was like, oh yeah, something happened. He texted me back like what you doing where you at so i text him i'm on my way to your house so he's like nah laugh my ass off no seriously where you at okay nah i'm still home since you don't want to believe me and i'm telling you on my way to your house I don't, don't worry about it so i get into the crib and the way it was is like the living room but this crib is pitch black i seen him fucking a bitch that i called my little sister Dang. mind you she was in the hospital with me like this girl done watched my daughter from me like oh, she done shoot. held it down but she's in the bedroom with this nigga so my that loyalty y'all see what i'm talking about nobody want to be loyal I'm not even talking about like a like a sexual relationship. I'm talking about like just friends in general. Like nobody want to be loyal. Things get hard or or like she want this nigga or he want this girl. The loyalty is up. It's crazy. Yo, they didn't see me because the way she turned, she turned towards the window. He blowing her back out. I let him finish. Do what you got to do, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do, my guy. So I sit in the living room. 
So after he finished, he like, yo, like, um, I'm a, I'm gonna let you go off, you feel me? Cause I'm about to go sit here and see what she doing. He calls my phone, he hears the phone go off, so he looks at the living room, but you can't see me, like, that's how pitch black it is, you feel me? So he calls my phone, and I'm like, hello? He like, where you at? I'm like, nah, come to the living room, let me talk to you real quick. So she gets up, she's like, nah, no fucking way. Always in hell. Mind you, his mom knocked out sleep in the back. I was finna get on, everybody died. So she comes to the living room, it gets to a big argument, I get the living room chair, I throw it, I break it, like, all the extra shit. So now she finally leaves now what really fucked me up is she's mind you her nigga was my little brother my nigga knew her nigga so i'm just Damn. like at this point you go you just leave like i'm more hurt at that point because like you you like my little sis like what the fuck you just go me and him oh we finna get it on we got to his bedroom i pushed his bed behind his door while i locked him in that bitch oh shoot oh nah oh it's about to get wild now it's me and you it's just me and you papa whatever you want to do we finna do his xbox threw that shit his all of it that went out the window. There was a strap, you feel me, in the top drawer. It wasn't his, it was his man's, you feel me? Pulled that shit out, and I cocked it back. And I looked him dead in his eyes, the old pain in my heart. I said, give me one reason why I shouldn't blow a cap in your eyes, nigga. He crying his eyes out, like, please. I just don't want to do this shit no more. Like, I don't want to be with you. Oh, we here, baby. We here. Damn. Don't do this now, you feel me? Mind you, we've been together at this time for a minute. You fucking with my little sis. Like, obviously, I, I, I should have been left him, but it wasn't as easy as motherfuckers think it really is. You know what I'm saying? But now, you don't play with me too long, we finna be out of eye on this motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie, I had to pull it real quick. I really got one of the trigger, I had to bust that, like, I had to bust it. Good thing, I wasn't really aiming, like, I didn't really want to do it for him, so it was kind of like a scare shot, so I wanted, like, the wall. You know how you, like, turn white like Casper in this motherfucker, like, he, like, freeze. Damn. You're like, yeah, play me now, like, and I guess he must have saw the fucking Harley Quinn in me or some shit, because his heart went to his ass, like, I didn't give up about that. Now, I got him crying, like, he slumped down the door, sliding down the wall, crying his ass off, like, I don't want to be with you. Man, I ain't never been in no abusive relationship, uh, except, uh, except except for, you know, your mom and your dad beating you uh, when you were little. Uh, besides that, besides that, I ain't never been in no abusive relationship. So, is it really true like it's hard to leave when you when you're in that, that abusive relationship I, I understand that there's like like a some type of stockholm syndrome syndrome that's only related to if someone's being been captured or kidnapped kidnapped like why is it so hard to leave that's the whole premise of, of the question like why is it so hard to leave is it is it fear of loneliness like like what is it? was he laying it down right i don't understand let me know in the comments i don't want to do this i looked at that his eyes now we ain't done till i said we done what you talk about now we ain't done till i said we done because now you see how i really get and now we gonna sit here and do what we gotta do so i can wait <laughs> for another two years after that i ain't gonna cap but we ain't yo 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 like y'all hear this the man said i don't want to be with you gun well he got the gun to his head even with the gun to his head he, he told her like straight up i don't want to be with you but yet he sees right there saying they stayed another two years together like why was they together in the first place i understand why you get together in the first place but why did you continue being together like you caught this man cheating like it's a rep he don't want to be with you that's the second red flag i don't understand these females sometimes boy yeah the um i wish him the fucking best but i'm gonna stand on business next time and uh, that's exactly what the fuck i did play with your mama motherfucker play with the nigga balls you came from and the pussy you pushed out of do not play with me i am not the one or the two Thank you. That's my little story, my little toxic story. I ain't that bad. I ain't that bad. Boy, going forward, if you see a girl with some colored hair, boy, it's going. You already know it's a good story. I'm not gonna lie.